confidence is important. If you don't have you don't have to think about that very much before you could understand how true that is, how important it is to have confidence. I didn't learn the importance and the understanding of confidence till just like like recently, recently. When I understood that confidence was a relationship with yourself, a trusting relationship that could turn into a loving relationship, confidence turns into self-love, and then self-love is just like a high level of confidence. Trust. Trust that you're going to do the things that you say that you're going to do that are good for you, or even more, do the stuff that you've been wanting to do, but you don't do because of lack of confidence. You've not done those things. You've not done that thing that you've been wanting to do because you don't trust yourself. So you've been digging yourself deeper in that hole. You don't do the things that you want to do. Or maybe you've tried them one, a hundred, a thousand times and you fail. And fail is not a bad thing. I say it very loosely because fail is not a bad thing. Untrain yourself to think that failure is bad. If you're forced to do something that you don't care about, and then they call you, they call it a fail because you don't do it right. I was like, well, I didn't want to do it. I didn't, I didn't, I don't care for it. Don't see it as a downfall. Don't see it as a like, like a negative thing. Negative thing in the person that wanted you to do it. But did you want to do it? There's some things that we have to do, laws of the land. And yeah, you know you're suppo- you know you understand that you're supposed to do those. Get them done as best as possible. But we're taught to think that a failure is a bad thing. So when we try these things that we really really want to do but we're unable to do, they just don't they don't come easy to us. It's it's our challenge. And we try, like I said, 100, 1,000 times. And you've never taken the time to build a relationship with yourself. Confidence. That's when you dig yourself deeper and deeper and deeper into lack of confidence. There's no confidence and then there's negative confidence. And that's the place I came from. Not only did I didn't have any confidence... Not only was I in like negative confidence, negative confidence is a place where I call like synthetic confidence, fake confidence, a confidence that you portray by just having courage. Courage is one thing and courage is important. Now, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of people that lack confidence that are very courageous and they use the courage to compensate for the lack of confidence. And usually in things that come easy to them, Maybe their natural talents. The ability to do things a little, certain things easier than others. They'll even risk a little more in that avenue because it's easy. It's easy for us to risk more in that avenue because we know. We know that that we that we're able to in, in the sense that it comes easy to us. So we have the courage to go for it. It's like, yeah, it 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 falls in my it, it falls in my in my uh abilities. But to build confidence, to build see, I even like saying it because it hits more when you call it to build a friendship with myself, to build a relationship with myself. The way to do that is to build trust. The way to build trust with yourself is to do the things that you say that you're gonna do that are good for you. But like I said, more importantly, doing the things that you've been wanting to do that you can't do because you're scared. You're scared because you failed at them before or you don't have enough confidence in yourself. You don't have enough trust in yourself to get them done. And you can't have confidence from one day to another. That's like getting jack, getting buff in one day to another. Getting fit on one day to from one day to another. It's not gonna happen. Don't buy into, or I should say, recognize if you have synthetic confidence, fake confidence. 
It could be that you're confusing confidence for courage. Get on that confidence. Trust yourself. Talk about that thing that you can't, that you're unable to do, that you've been wanting to do. It's been haunting you for a long time and you can't do it. Those things that you want to do that are good for you, but you don't have enough trust in yourself, so you don't do them. You haven't done them. Those are the things that you have to start doing. And then that one thing that you've been really, really, really wanting to do, but you don't do it because you're scared, because you failed at it before, or it just seems so difficult. Typically, it's because you've tried it before and you got made fun of, you failed, too many people were watching, they had their comments, you heard the, you heard the, the talk about when you didn't make it or when you were trying it and it, it wasn't even about making it or not making it. It was just trying it and someone made fun and that hit right here. It's like, man, you don't know how difficult this is for me. And then you're making fun or you got your two cents, you got your comments and you hurt. That sets you back. That'll kill any kind of confidence that you're trying to build, any kind of relationship with yourself. Because in that, that voice, the self will say, we told you, damn. The best way to build confidence is baby steps. I've been on this baby steps thing, and then this is real different for me because I've always felt that I've always, always had to catch up. One of the main things that I've always had in my life is I'm always playing catch I've always had to play catch up since I was a little kid. So baby steps to me is like, does not make sense. Do you realize how far behind I am? I do not need baby steps. I need gigantor steps. You feel me? But lately I've been on that baby steps game because baby steps gets you momentum. So the thing that I tied into baby steps is baby steps for just a short period of time, a tiny period of time. One, two, three days. Then you could do giant steps. And then you realize, shit, okay, maybe I do need to go back to baby steps a little bit. Because these things stack up. They build confidence. They start. I start trusting myself. I start building a relationship with myself. Hey, I'm doing it. I said I was going to do these, these steps, these B steps. I've been calling them these baby steps. I've been doing them for two days, three days, four days. This feels good. Hey, this guy's all right. He's doing what he said he was supposed to do. We're doing that thing that we've been trying to do forever. Not the full blown, but we're starting here with baby steps. One baby steps, two baby steps, three baby steps, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's starting to look like one giant step, but it's taken us three, four, five, six, seven days. You try one big giant step and you mess up. Oh, there I go again. So set yourself up for success. Take advantage of these baby steps. But the thing probably that you have to do up here so you don't mess yourself up is know that these baby steps are just for a tiny bit of time. Anybody who has any connection with the baby knows that babyness doesn't last very long. Despite the days that it feels like it's lasting forever because fevers, runny noses, crying, late nights, early mornings, no sleeps. I don't know why you're crying. They seem like they last forever, but look back and say, wow, that was fast. They're how old now? Same thing with these. These baby steps don't last because they, they pile up quick and you start building confidence, self-love. You start trusting yourself. You start doing more. The baby steps turn into giant steps automatically. But the giant steps are easy to not stop because if you take one and it doesn't work, that's 100% fail. But if you do baby steps, it's, it's tough to mess up baby steps. It's tough because they're tiny. You get them done. And even if you did and you took five baby steps and one of them didn't work, you got four done. You still have momentum. Confidence momentum. Okay, self-trust. I messed up once, but four were ahead. We're still winning. Yeah, we are. Let's go. Pick up the ball and let's keep on going. Let's get that fifth one. A couple hours, boom, you did it. Build confidence using the magic of baby steps. Set yourself up for success and use these baby steps.